So I did want to talk about uh, March Madness, but we're really kind of short on time. So I'm going to make it really quick. I just really wanted to applaud March Madness. I feel like it's been honestly one of the best March Madnesses that yeah, I've ever seen, to nice. be honest. It's been crazy games. The players, because one of the things that I love is like, you know, the random player that comes out of nowhere because of March Madness. Yes. There's so much of that with like DJ Burns, for example. And Dude, Kuba. what a dog. Yeah. So it's like, just so it's for me, NFL. this this has been the first year in a couple years where it really has got, even though my fucking Gators lost for round fucking was, and fucked my bracket all up. Bro, um, brackets got fucked. SEC that, let us the fuck down. We were supposed yeah. to be the best conference. Make sure you're talking to Mike. I don't think NIT. And, in it. Yeah, I think they're NIT and they got bounced early. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I've just been really impressed with it. Uh, I'm excited to see. Like, also, Purdue's been really exciting because Josh Eady. Well, and, yeah, Zach Eady. Z-D. And Zach, uh, yeah. Zach Eady. And th- like this run, it reminds me, of, and this, this might be hyperbole, so let me know. I, and I don't think that the hype is there for it, but just the, the ball that he's playing, to be honest, it reminds me of the Anthony Davis Kentucky run a little bit. It's been so dominant. So he's bigger. He's definitely bigger and not quite as athletic. Um, but I mean, just the work, he's been able to actually do way more work on the offensive end. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, but yeah, just as far as like how dominant he's looked out there, I'm excited to see him in the league after. Yeah, go ahead. Well, no, I was going to say, not just him. UConn has a center. I, oh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I forget his name. It's Ken Clinigan. Ken. Kent, yeah, Clint, 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 some Clint, shit. Kent, I think, Kent, <laughs> but he's another big that's balling. I think he, that, he can score from just score. Yeah, they might end up playing in the. Well, finals. hold on. Yeah, UConn has to beat Bama. Okay. okay. Sure. Now listen. I now listen. Me and my dad, we cried first time in <laughs> Alabama school history. We reached the final four. Last <laughs> time we got close was Sweet 16, 2004. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I was 11. No, he was Auburn. He was Auburn. Oh, Auburn. And we, uh, our best player got hurt at that time and we, and we lost. And then we, uh, the team last year with, um, God damn, Brandon Miller mm-hmm. just was inconsistent. This team here, we were hot and then cold, hot and cold, bro. We are the number one scoring team in the country. 90 yeah. points a game. We are a shoot the fuck out of the three and you shoot it until you make it. You don't stop shooting. <laughs> We don't stop shooting, and I and I love that philosophy because you just take good shots, take your open shots. We do this all day. You know, you, it's going to come down. And then if we're not taking threes and we're getting it to the rim and either getting fouled or getting an easy bucket, but we 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 are fast pace and we play teams out. Okay, and we've done it throughout this tournament. It's been really good. Now the scariest thing that I've ever seen, and I and I'll and I'm saving it for this. Uh, have you 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 know when like high school basketball teams like a Charlotte High who's pretty good for us plays like a top team in the country and like early in the game it's like 22 17 mm-hmm. Charlotte everyone's kind of hype yeah. and then that basketball team that's top in the country goes on a 30 year run <laughs> okay well that just fucking happened in the elite eight okay by UConn against Illinois who is the number two offense in the country with oh, like 88 right. points yeah. so they can just shut you though dude they didn't score a point for a an hour, an Damn. hour, a full hour goes by, and you haven't scored a fucking point. What was the score at that point? Uh, well, 9, it, it was like, I remember. think, 80, 77 to 52, yeah. something like that. I forget. Uh, basketball. Um, but Bama, we're the only one that's 77 to 52. Ooh, I got that one. Ooh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Talk them out. Man, it's funny but, because the team actually, you know, it's, it, it's interesting we're talking about this because they haven't had the team score over. They haven't had a, a team score in the 60s. No, on. no, they haven't. Now, again, Alabama, we've been scoring consistently over 80. Okay? To give you an idea of the whole tournament, uh, 52, 58, 52, 52. Okay, Two no. 52 point Alabama. games. No, 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 not yet. Now, can we look at Alabama, what we've scored throughout the tournament? We've hit over 100 once. Uh, our point guard, uh, Mark Sears, is the top scorer in the tournament right now with 97 points. Him and Edie. Are the only two with consecutive twenty-five point games. Okay. Right. Ninety-seven points is just a tournament. So you guys, uh, one hundred and nine, seventy-two, eighty-nine, and eighty-nine. Yeah. So you've only scored under eighty-seven one time. Yeah. So okay. I mean, again, that's that's how we play. Now again, UConn though, that defense is down, something the yeah. fuck else. Now be a great game. Now yeah. we are a perimeter team, so if we're hot again, we made and. We were losing to Clemson, though. No, we had a run. We went on in the second half, hit 10 out of 15 threes. Mm-hmm. So yeah. if, if you come in and play like that, which that's been our MO for like the season, get 90 points a game we average, we have a chance. But again, UConn might be the best college basketball team of all time. 
<laughs> so, I don't know. So give me my dad to say all that. Me and my dad were like, listen, this so is they, the greatest moment for us no as basketball. That they, they've lost three games, I think, this year. It, but, but but it's like but it's like we uh yeah. if we lose a UConn, we're not sad. This has been a great season, great tournament. Hopefully yeah. it works out. Nate Oates is a fantastic coach. He was coaching high school basketball like 10, 15 years ago yeah. within that range. Crazy. Yeah. Like in and now he's been nice. to three consecutive Sweet Sixteens. Damn. Yeah. So, for y'all. hey, yeah. but but that one. But then, yeah, I think that Purdue's going to be. Uh, oh yeah, I think so. Who, who are they playing? Uh, NC State. Mm-hmm. Which that DJ Burns is apparently Seriously. NFL look at. Uh, oh yeah, I saw it left tackle, bro. Yeah, I mean, he looks like Zach Rudolph out there. I saw some people saying he's like New Zebo, but here, I don't want to write because we could keep talking yeah, about this. No, I want to talk about it, to be honest, but I just want to be mindful of some of the stuff that I want to get Kent's opinion on. This is a, I'm sure it's going to be a quick one because we pretty much agreed on this for the last several weeks, but I definitely want to mention it. Um, let me take fucking Alabama college basketball. Roll tie, baby. Uh, hey, Grant Nelson. A hey, Pringle. Israel. So, uh, <laughs> North Carolina, baby. And hey, we Carolina. beat North Carolina. What's up with it, baby? There you go. Right. Okay, so celebrate this, but we're about to get into it. So it's one and fifty. So <laughs> Israel, 